you can put you've probably seen the uh, video previously where I spoke about some of the parts that I've already got for the Peugeot 205. These are the engine components or pretty much all the engine components you'd need to do a virtually a full bearing kit, uh, a reseal and do a water pump, oil pump, that sort of stuff. I've just changed my gloves because these are all brand new, uh, brand new. Um, and I've also got price lists as well. If not, if I haven't, um, I'll pop them on the screen and also I'll put links to them in the description below. I am not making any money off those links um, before anybody says. Um, they're genuinely for your um, for your leisure and if you want to purchase them you can purchase them. I'm not advocating for a certain particular brand, that's, that's just what I bought. So, and I'll, I'll tell you where I got them from just so you know. First things first, I got uh, oil and filter. So I got a man oil filter, I sort of swear by these. I find these brilliant quality. We used to run them on the Subarus. They never leaked. We've never had issues with them leaking and very, very good design. And I've had them on my this engine that we're building now um, and never any faults. This is a W716 forward slash one. So this one's a Citroen Fiat Peugeot and Toyota. Seven pounds 29, sorry. That's not including that. But that was from Euro Car Parts because they always sell them. Um, also, um, I'll be running Shell Helix H7 10W40. That's just because um, that's what the engine was designed to run on. Um, we potentially could go to like a 10, like a, a 1050 or something like that. Um, but I see no need for the running because it's a good quality oil. Um, synthetic was this one here is just the one litre one. I'll be getting a five litre one for the engine because it takes, I think uh 3.9 liters or something uh, but this one's just for assembly 13.99 excluding that water pump so critical thing for the water pump in peugeot's they can uh, let me show you so you'll get an oil, uh, an o-ring um and also uh so you get a water pump so this is this is the water pump Basically, the problem you have is these fins corrode over time because they are galvanized and they are steel. So uh, with water or any coolant or anything like that, they will degrade. And also some were plastic, I believe, and they can snap off. And obviously you don't want that going into your engine, even though it wouldn't have any harm effect. It wouldn't go into anything moving other than this, because uh, this is the only thing that's moving in the, uh, the water system but it would definitely clog something up. So it's a nice remanufactured part. Unfortunately, what well you can get, this is the problem with these engines. So they use them. So this engine is a TU3S. You can get different ones of the TU3 generations, but the TU3S is what came in the XS. It was carbureted. It was a 1.4, as you probably understand, but it was a very pokey little engine for the time very minimal electronics and what have you very very mechanically sound they're good for what they do you can push a, probably about 100 and probably about 150 out of them but you have to do a lot of work for that or well, it's probably less than that it's probably it's probably about 130 140 that's brake horsepower but to get anything more you go into 16 valve and double overhead cam so um where this is only a single overhead cam and a valve so you can only push so much but if you did the right modifications with the right cam, with Genvies, and have the right management, and probably about eight injectors, you probably push that upper limit, but then you're also pushing the block because it is aluminium. And also, you, unless you go for a different stroke length and a different uh, crank, you will be stuck at the standard pistons, which are cast, which aren't very good. So we're keeping with the cast pistons at the moment because we're not upping the power. Um, we're just fine-tuning to what we've got and then we'll go from there. We don't need anything extra So why change it? It works. It's it's from the factory. Uh, next things is head stun, head studs um, L ring People like them people hate them as you can probably tell most of this from, from Euro car parts but most of the problem we've got is uh, because of the age of the engine uh, you cannot uh, get the uh, components anymore, especially from Peugeot because they do not stock it 
generally you might have some new old stock that floating around on eBay and Facebook and other sites like that but generally it's remanufactured parts and I know people are saying oh why are you doing that but unfortunately that's the case that's the world we live in we've got a 30 year old car unfortunately they're going to be remanufactured parts so as long as you go for a reputable brand you can't go too far wrong they've been making these for years now if they had a problem they'd recall them and change the design evidently they're still producing them so they're, they're perfect for what we want and also they're cheap so for the head studs and the water pump uh, head bolts were 1441 including tax obviously we have a 20% tax bracket in the UK you can buy them you can buy them from Euro car parts they still make them the problem we're going to start to find is even though I've been building this car for two, three years previously all the parts were on it and now they're starting not to re, uh, remake the parts the good thing is is there's a hidden little trick within Peugeot Peugeot didn't discontinue this engine even though the part numbers are different the the first engine that we took out, uh, that we took apart in the engine rear strip down um, video where we had the score uh, the scorn crank was out of a double u reg which is a 2000 i believe or 2001 106 quicksilver which is exactly the same engine the head is a slightly different design because it's in direct uh, it's not direct injection it's injection it's sorry single port injection and it uses a, a not a mechanical fuel pump it uses a electric fuel pump and it uses an ecu and stuff like that so there is some slight differences but generally you can cross um, so if you can find something on auto trader and you can just get a quicksilver registration use that genuinely they are the same parts um, same prices and everything I've checked them because I, I spent many hours going through different websites like spooks pug one off um, pug racing uh, euro car parts GSF I went I spent hours doing this and these are sort of the best for your book um, yes they're remanufactured parts but generally you're not going to get genuine parts anymore the only genuine part that I've managed to find is the flywheel bolts and I had to buy them directly from Peugeot and managed to get them but we'll go into that later time belt kit I've as I said it's a INA it's a decent quality I wanted to go uh, continental or something like that because I've heard of them but these um, seem to be very good and I I haven't got any complaints. Uh, that was £51.44. I, I believe it's that's a plus that as well. Um, so yeah. Okay, next thing we're gonna go to oil pump. Uh, it's always good to do an oil pump change. You don't need to, but generally it's it's good. So I've got a remanufactured one here. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. There's a lot of contra controversy around uh, an oil pump. Hello, oh, so uh, behind me, I don't know if you can see, so there we were talking about the uh, oil pump. So actually after this video, I actually double checked everything because I saw a lot more when I was um, when I was actually looking through the footage and what have you. So actually, I'm taking that back. I'm not going to be using the remanufactured one. I'm actually going to use the standard one that came on the car. But it is going to a company called PR dash developments so they specialize in Peugeot and Citroen stuff so they're going to recondition this one I believe it's 70 pounds re-delivered back to myself and it will be aqua blasted it will be like new and it will be tested as well so they they do a lot for the XU you can get other pumps but they're few and far between and also they're a lot more expensive so for 70 pounds um, which actually the one on the in uh, the one on Euro car parts cost me ninety five pounds, so I'd have happily sent it to him, and knew about his service previously. So if you go, if you want to get yours done, go and speak to Martin. Uh, you can speak to him on Instagram and Facebook. He's really active. He he came back straight to me. So I'm actually going to change this clip. You'll see this clip in in the video now. Um, but yeah, thank you. So next thing we've got is. So we've got sump uh, gaskets, L ring again. Unfortunately, these are the only people that make them. Uh, you can buy them off eBay, but then you run the risk of not uh, getting the correct ones. 
Um, this one was 590. Uh, so it's it's worth it then. Um, we when I took the engine apart, there was uh, RTV on it, but I I really doubt because you've got a gasket there, you don't need RTV. So if as long as you can torque it down to um, the specs required, the just just the gasket would be fine because they wouldn't have designed something to put a gasket in if you were meant to put RTV on it. So. And then a head gasket kit. This head gasket kit is thirty six forty seven. This will probably be the cheapest head gasket kit you've got. So you've got a head gasket, you've got stem seals, you've got oil pump, water pump, um, you've got uh, exhaust fan gaskets, you've got camshaft seal, you've got rocker cover gasket. You've got everything in this one kit for 30, 32.47 plus that. Why wouldn't you? There is no multi-layer steel head gaskets available. Um, you can potentially get one off um, Peugeot, but they, they don't make them anymore. You can get them off eBay, but I'd rather go into a shop and get one. So that's why we went for L ring again. I haven't had an issue. We put an L ring one on another cart and it's been fine. So why change it? Okay, so we'll step away from Euro car parts a bit. Uh, so these are the only thing I could not find. They list them on Euro car parts, they do not stock them, unfortunately. But you can find them for the, the 106 Quicksilver. The only problem I didn't go with the 106 Quicksilver ones was because they looked like a slightly, slightly different piston design, a different casting, even though it's the same bore and stroke, it's a slightly different casting design, I believe. So I will, I will, we will check that in the future videos, but I had to go for eBay for this one. They are, it's like GOTS, G-O-E-T-Z-E. -E. I think they're about 50 pounds. Uh, I will put the eBay advert on them. You've got to double check the size of them if they're overboard or underboard. I, they're a 75 mil bore with a, uh, by 1.75 plus two plus three standard. They're for a TU3. And if you want to know the parts number, 08 dash, one five four four zero zero dash four four there you go so four of them so they've got all three rings in them and that's all we need okay so we're going to these i've just pop, just pop them in here so they don't go walkies okay well, the one thing you don't uh, actually sorry two things two things from um from Persia, you can still buy. If you're taking the liners out, which to clean the block you will have to do, you need to replace these little seals. These seals are the most finicky little seals you'll ever find, because they sit at the bottom of, they're literally tiny, um, they sit at the bottom of the, um, of the liner and they are uh, the tiniest little O-ring and I didn't want to risk, you can buy them on eBay but I didn't want to risk it because this is a critical part between oil and water um, because this creates the water jacket and I managed to find there's a set of four and including that 11.75 so for genuine parts 11.75 from Peugeot I cannot moan and that was from the local Arbury group so okay um, Okay, next, uh, next one, eBay. This is the oil pump chain. This is very hard to get. Peugeot do not stock them anymore. Um, but it's a, F, uh, it's a Febby Bilstein, same as the wheel bearings, and that they were new old stock and directly from Peugeot. And they've got a Peugeot barcode on them. So if Peugeot are using them, I, was, you, I would use them on here. So. Febby Bilstein, or whatever you want to say, it's a, I believe it's a 47 chain, uh, and you can specify which size, and I'll, I'll put some more information on the screen now. Rear main and front main seal. The rear main, because that was bigger, and that was the front main, because that's smaller. We've gone to quarter cut, or quarter, 
Teco, uh, which is slightly different to uh, the other parts, but uh, this was the only brand they stocked from Euro Car Parts. So front main, this one, 887, and this one, which is the rear main, uh, 1597. So they were from Euro Car Parts as well. So, um, what are these? I don't know what they are, but are they? Okay, big end bearings. We have gone. So there's two options you've got. You've gone Euro Car Parts, or you've got ACR race bearings. ACR race bearings are renowned for their bearings. Unfortunately, you can't get oversize or undersize, and you can only get big ends. You can't get mains. So I chose to go, uh, they're made in Australia. Um, my dad used to use them on his race car, so we've gone for them on ours um, for Pat, and they'll do they'll service what for what we need. They'll be perfect. Um, let me just double check how much they were. Fifty five pounds, and they were from eBay. Uh, I'll pop the. Uh, they were from a local company, Neville Lock Performance, really, in Coventry. So um, they they do stock them in the UK, and if you want to go to Neville Lock, I am not associated with them to, to, to what at all, but uh, they got them for me, and I believe they even hand delivered them. They didn't send them in the post. They literally um, they even they knocked on my door and handed them to me. So uh, I, as I can remember, so that's amazing service. Next for uh, main bearings, we've gone for King bearings. A lot of people use King bearings. I was recommended to use King bearings. These were all off eBay as well. Um, and also you've got the thrust bearings as well, which are also King, I believe. Um, but both of those, so the main bearings were 2570, including, uh, including that, and the thrust washers, um, uh, or thrust, yeah, thrust bearings uh, were 1539. Okay, next thing. As I said, another thing from uh, Peugeot and Citroen Group, flywheel bolts. So you can reuse them, and a lot of people do, um, but because somebody had put the clutch in the wrong way around, and actually uh, the, the springs had been hitting the corners of the bolts, so that scrap, the, the, that scrap and these bolts are scrap. Fortunately, I could, you can still buy them from um, from Persia, and they were, uh, you had to, because you've got six, conveniently, you have to buy two packs. So, I might, yeah, so each bolt is uh, one pound 22, pa uh, one pound 22 uh, plus that, and you need 10 of them because they only come in packs of five. So, unfortunately, you had to buy 10 of them. So it ended up coming to be um, 11 pounds which is unfortunate, but hopefully the flywheel then doesn't come off. Next thing, gold seal plug. Because I, we're doing a fresh engine build, yes, we're not putting any new components in, but we're putting new bearings and rings and stuff like that, so things can float around and in the manufacturing process and what have you. So we've got a gold plug, and these always saved engines before. It's just an added layer of protection, uh, with the man oil filter, um, we've got a gold plug which is a little bit expensive. It, uh, you can't get a lot off them. Um, how much are they? They're eighteen fifty-eight. That is basically that you cannot get any more money off them um, from them. The best way to get your parts cheaper is phone Euro Car Parts and ask them what is their best price because they will do their best price. It will most likely. Yes, you'll get discounts, discount codes on uh, their website, but if you speak to them directly, generally they're cheaper um, because you're speaking to a human and they can empathise with you. Um, that is a top tip. The one thing that always rusts on a 205, especially at one, uh, the TU3S, is this. This is the uh, thermostat housing and it also is the top radio connector. You can buy these off eBay. They are the same as the 
the Quicksilvers, that is the way you find them. This took me ages to find. Euro part, car parts do not stock them, so um, there you go. That is always a good thing. I've got two more. I've blasted them, I've painted them, but they just don't look the same as that. And they're a lot thinner as well. And also, I don't want to crush it when we put some new host clamps on them. So, better be to be safe than sorry. Thermostats. I bought this a while ago, so I don't know the price. I'll put the price up on the screen now, but it's always worth putting a new thermostat in. Um, uh, so, there you go. We're also using Denso um, spark plugs TT. We're using Q20 TT uh, hashtag 4, 4608 hashtag 4 and T07, so there you go. That's what we're using. Um, I've used them previously, they work really well, um, but if we're gonna do an engine build, we may as well put the right stuff in it. And also, I've got a Motul oil coolers sandwich plate, so this is not thermostatic one. So you can buy thermostatic ones. I didn't wanna buy a thermostatic one because I want as much cooling in the engine as possible, so, um, so it'll always be cooling. Yes, it'll take a little bit more time to warm up, but um, I'd rather have the larger capacity oil and also not have it uh, thermostatic as well. But we bought that. Uh, I'll put the price on and where I got it from. It was from eBay, I know that, um, but um, that is the, that's the thing. I believe that's it for everything. That's that's all you need to rebuild the TU, the Peugeot 205 TU3S for 1.4 XS. They are very basic engines, and but they are funky. So, um, but so there is there is a couple of um, things you have to do watch out for, like those seals at the bottom of the liners and stuff like that. But that is all you need. There is other places like Spooks, Pug One Off, and Pug Racing. I've had very, very good dealings with uh, Pug Racing, and which is miles from Pug Racing, and also Pug One Off. Very, very good. If you phone them or call them, you can get parts next day. I did for this sort of stuff um, because I know I'm potentially going to rebuild it down in the future anyway. I didn't go super expensive, other than I treated it to a couple of nice bits. But this stuff will will hold your engine for another hundred thousand miles. But this is a rally car, so it's going to get beaten on it. I'm going to thrash it. I'm going to enjoy the car. So if I need to rebuild the engine, it's not a major expense. Um, and I believe I don't know how much it was in total, um, which I'll put a price down. OK, so uh, this is the end of the video now. Um, unfortunately, uh, the camera actually cut off because we ran out of storage on the SD card. So that's why it just cut off then. Um, but if you got any questions, if you want to know any more information about this, I'm a wealth of information. If I don't know, I know somebody who does. So if if you need anything more or any any other information that I haven't included, I don't think I have missed anything, but I, I'm only looking at it through um, one perspective. So if you want me to go over anything else, I, I could do that in a future video. But yeah, thank you for watching and I will... Um, I'll see you in the next one.